last few episodes i talked about how drives came in to india and uh, that being the first product of industrial automation in india today i am going to tell you something very interesting about how plc's came to india and uh, dbk again was involved in it uh, you know as dbk we were selling drives to lot of cement plants and one of the clients was orient cements uh, myself and jayanta chatterji my colleague we were with mr gp sinha who had recently taken over as the project manager for orient cements for the new plant coming up in uh, andhra pradesh and we were talking to him about drives uh, after the conversation as we started chatting he mentioned that look i mean you know if you are really interested in growing your company then you should actually add plc's to the range of your product lines because that's going to be the future and that all cement plants will be using plc's and uh, instead of uh, relay logic or static logic and at that time quite a number of cement plants were going to come and therefore the potential looked pretty good we asked him for some names of plc manufacturers and he mentioned a few names and particularly he mentioned about allen bradley being one of the leaders so taking cue from him we started writing to all the big manufacturers of plc's including to allen bradley we got a response from allen bradley uh, through a teleprinter you know in those days there were no uh, mobiles or fax machines uh, we had to rely on stds or you know uh, international stds as well as uh, uh, teleprinters so we sent a teleprinter message to them saying that we were interested in some tie up uh, and looking at the possibility of tying up for plc's in india and uh, we got a reply quite fast for those days back on a teleprinter telling us that two of their senior members of the company were in india and they were looking at the possibility of looking for partners in india for selling their plc's and their products they mentioned the name of one mr porits who was their vice president of business development and that they were staying in a hotel in bangalore but their program was full and all scheduled and therefore they did not know whether they will have any time or not and we could contact them uh, my boss uh, dhruv khaitan he actually contacted them in bangalore in the hotel and uh, pat came the reply from them that uh, they are full up they have completely you know full of full on schedules but however they can possibly give us half an hour time during lunch at chennai if we could come down to chennai you know we used to be in calcutta and if you could come down to chennai for lunch for half an hour on a particular day the other option they gave us was that they were going to travel between calcutta to kumar dubi because they were also in talk with uh, mcnally bharat in addition to the other bigger companies that they were talking to like lnt kirloskar nelco etc and they said we could meet us during those two hour train journey so we internally discussed and we thought that you know meeting them in chennai for half an hour would be better because that would give us a second opportunity to meet if uh, the need arose and we actually met them in chennai uh, the meeting which was supposed to be for half an hour it went on for hour and a half it was interesting because my colleague jayant chatterji and ranjan de i mean they were my colleagues in dbk both had been doing lot of work on finding about plc's their demand the you know where it is used and what are the industries that could be used etc and though we had a pretty good dossier actually prepared by them and myself and dhruv we had this dossier with us and we could discuss with them on business telling them that you know if we could tie up with them we could give them immediate business out of a number of seven plants that were going to come so this interested them but however i mean you know the discussion could not uh, go far because you know of uh, lack of time and they said they would like to meet us again uh, during the train journey between calcutta and kumar dubi two days from from then as it happened unfortunately you know when we went back to calcutta we never heard anything from them and we thought anyway the opportunity is lost and that you know they have already probably finalized on somebody else but you know surprisingly about a week later we got a teleprinter message from allen bradley saying that uh, whether we would be interested in taking up 
and non exclusive distributorship for their products in india and we understood from them that one of the two mr porets and the other gentleman fell ill while in chennai and then they went back from chennai without going to any other place and therefore they had not met all the uh, customers you know all the suppliers or vendors whom they had wanted to meet but could meet only a limited few so they went back and then obviously i mean because they were i think quite keen to see what we had to offer they said they could offer us an distributorship but it would be absolutely non exclusive and that they were free to look for any other partner on a long term we internally discussed and we thought let's not lose this opportunity and we took this opportunity and became their non exclusive distributorship and uh, we uh, signed the agreement with them a few weeks later after having uh, signed the agreement with talent bradley for being their non exclusive distributor in india uh, we started about uh, taking some training our engineers were put on training on their products etc in the meantime uh, i visited actually um, tumkur to mysore cements for some of their projects for drive business and when i was there i chance to meet their president mr nl hamirwasia nl hamirwasia is a very aggressive uh, person by the way and you know uh, he was the president of uh, uh, mysore cements and i mentioned to him after the order was placed out for the drives i mentioned to him that we've also signed up with alan bradley for plc's he said hang on i let me call my consultants so he had uh, appointed entech consultants from chennai as their consultants for them for the new projects which was coming up in damo in the name of diamond cements and uh, he told them that look money is here and he tells us that uh, he signed an agreement with alan bradley to be their distributor and that he could offer plc systems do you think we can use it in our cement plant and uh, balachandran who and shrikantan i mean they were the partners in entech uh, both were known to me because uh, shrikantan was earlier in holtech and bala of course was a closer uh, old friend of mine and uh, both of them said that you know plcs will be very useful for their new cement plant and that anyway they had to procure a plc therefore mr hamir was here just looked at me and said that look i will take the plcs from you alan bradley plc and i am going to give you 28 lakhs for that i i did not get the logic of how it was 28 lakhs but he said that's all that i can pay and if you are interested i give you the letter of intent now i looked at bala and uh, shrikantan and they mentioned to me that actually it would be just okay price and uh, probably of course they also did not know the cost i also did not know the cost but we just took the chance and uh, i talked to dhruv khetan my boss on a call and he confirmed to me that you know if he is going to give you the order you take it because this will be our first order for plc in india and therefore when I, mean, i came back to mr amir wasia and told him that we'll take the order at 28 lakhs and uh, we took the order at 28 lakhs and got our first plc order in india for allen bradley it was 1774 i think plc 1 1774 and 1778 i was i'm not too sure about it today but i think that was that that was the first order i will cover in the next episode how we moved forward with allen bradley for plcs in the other projects and other cement plants that came up at that time thank you <laughs> Thank you.